Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Well, today is June 8th, it is Wednesday, and it is my weight and health journey update, chit chat kind of a video, let you know how my week went. Um, I have a lot to say, I, or yeah, I have a lot to say. I have a lot of things that um, happened to me mentally this week. Also, my body really spoke to me this week. I did weigh in, and we will get to that here in a minute. Um, okay, what happened this week? This week, since starting my journey back up, March 31st, I started my whole journey back up. I, this past week, I did not meet my 10,000 step challenge that I have on my Fitbit. Um, I did meet my determined to satisfy 100 challenge, which is basically moving for 25 minutes for 100 days. And that I did meet. That day, uh, I got up, I did laundry, bathrooms, vacuumed. I just did the whole house. And I was about 5,000 steps into my day. And in the evening, when it was getting ready for me to work out, I put my clothes on, but I felt really, really tired. I, you know, there is a difference between a physical tired and a mental tired, where you're fatigued mentally, emotionally, where you're tired, you know, maybe you look at the computer screen all day and you just feel tired uh, that's a lot of mental and fatigue but I'm talking about an actual physical tiredness and I was I wasn't sure what I was feeling but I knew that I was just feeling a little bit run down so I got my I got my stuff my gear on my shoes my workout clothes and an hour passed okay this was after dinner too so an hour passed and then an hour and a half passed <laughs> and I wasn't getting up. So finally I said, no, 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 you, you need to go work out. So I got up, I did it about a minute and a half into the DVD, I stopped it. I, I just stopped it. I could not do it. I kept thinking, oh, but I'm not gonna meet my 10,000 steps. How am I gonna meet my 10,000 steps? I was really disappointed because I knew I wasn't going to get it in. It was the first time since March 31st that I wasn't going to be able to get it in. And I really started beating myself down about it. Shortly after I realized, you know, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this to myself. I'm going to honor my body and, and give it the rest. You know, I want it to rest. It didn't even want to walk anymore. It didn't want to light walk. It didn't want to walk around the block. I, I just needed to rest it. And, um, and I did, and I accepted the fact that, you know, I didn't meet my 10,000 step that day. Oh, well, okay, you know, that's all right, you know. And um, the other thing that happened to me as well um, was the flip, flip side of that. Uh, one day I was working out this week, and um, you are going to see me work out here in a minute. I did that particular DVD this one particular day that I'm going to tell you about. Um, but it is a fa uh, burn fat fast DVD. Okay, it has three segments, and I did the 40 minute segment. So I did my light walking, and then I did the 40 minute segment. And when she was cooling down after the 40 minutes, my body wanted more. Like it, it wasn't satisfied. Like I wanted, my body just wanted to keep going. And so what I did was I actually. Once she was cooling down on that 40 minute segment, I stopped before the cool down, went to the menu, and then I hit the 20 minute segment. And so I did the 20 minute and that was enough. That was good. My body was like, yeah, okay. So my body is really telling me a lot now and um, kind of guiding me, you know, and I think that's really, really neat uh, and to honor it. I, one thing I've also learned is that your body, and I've known that for a while, is that your body needs to be pushed. Um, and one of the things Leslie Sanson always says is you want to burn, you want to push your body, not every day, but maybe three times in a week to fatigue, not to exhaustion, but to fatigue. And that's good. And one of the things she says is how you learn you're there is that you can no longer do a move in its full extension you know you're sort of kind of kicking you know not so high anymore or you're you know punching you're not punching so hard anymore that's when you know you've reached the point of fatigue and you need to cool it back down and you know I do that most most days out of the week like three times out of the week so it's just really um, neat how my body is really 
changing. It's telling me, you know, what it wants. Um, so anyways, that that's one thing that happened and I, and I really uh, do push my body. I do push it. I'm doing um, this Leslie Sanson. This is walk off fat fast. And this is what we need today. <laughs> we need to burn off some of that fat and fast. What I'm going to do is all three sessions and how I'm going to do it. Okay, so yes. I have it on the screen here. So let me just show you. Um, the first walk is going to be 20 minutes. The second walk, 30. And the uh, last um, walk is 40 minutes. And I'm going to do all of these. Yep. So what I do is when I put this walk on, when she gets to the cool down, I turn it off, go back to menu, and I put this one on. And when she gets to the cool down, I turn it off, and I go back to the menu. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I am going to do because my body, I feel like my body today, it really, really wants that workout. You know, it's like I'm not tired, I'm pumped up, so I'm going to push it today. So let's get working. Major pushing major pushing that was an hour and a half of workout and uh, at the last 40 minute walk segment I uh, wasn't fully extending the moves anymore towards the end but she was starting to bring me down anyway so what I did was she was still sort of hitting the moves kind of hard I was already kind of bringing it down myself you know because my body had already said okay you know, I'm fatigued now. So it's just really neat how, um, you know, I'm working with my body, I guess you can say. Uh, so it feels really, really good. And I want to tell you about a mental challenge now that I kind of met up with this week. Um, I had finished working out one day, uh, you know, hit it not as hard, but I hit it pretty good. Um, and I came to take a shower, <clears throat> excuse me, I came to take a shower and I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but these sort of thoughts come in your head of self-sabotaging or self, um, you know, you look at what, where you're not at instead of looking at 
what's happening and the changes, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me get some water. Go get some water. <laughs> I still feel like I have a frog in my throat. We're going to go with it. Okay. So I came to the, to came to take a shower and you know, I'm taking off my contact lenses and doing the whole thing before I got in the shower and I'm sweating. Okay. I'm sweating. I, I just did a workout and I don't know if you guys do this to yourself, but then you look in the mirror and you realize how much you have to go, how much more you have to go. Um, you, you know, it's almost self-sabotaging or I don't know what it is, but then you focus on where you're not at. You focus on, oh my gosh, how much I have to go. And part of the reason why I think that happened to me is because I've been doing good workouts. I've been very consistent in my workouts, in my eating, in putting into my fitness pal. I've been very, very good about staying within 1,440 calories and not, not eating my exercise calories, you know, not eating those calories. And so I've been doing very, very good so that when I looked in the mirror, I expected to see something more, something, you know, more dramatic. And I, I started to do that to myself and I had to nip that in the butt. I had to nip that in the butt and quick because that can put a big damper on my momentum, on my journey, on, uh, you know, not caring about eating a snack that's healthier, you know, maybe going over on my snack because it was my snack time, my snack time, you know, I, I could have easily uh, dwelled on that and said, you know what, I'm just going to eat my snack then, you know, what I want, you know, popcorn, lots of it or something, you know, um, but I had to nip it. I had to nip it. You know, I've, I've come a long way and the scale is definitely changing. So let me show you what I weighed this morning. Okay. June 8th, 8th. Wednesday, June 8th. Wow. <laughs> Minus, the, wait, hold on a minute. Oh, wow. 200 even. From 203.4, that's 3.4 pound loss. Wow. Wow. Uh, other things that are happening are in my clothes. Um, there is a blouse that I bought and I looked at the vlog video. It was April 7th that I bought this particular blouse and I tried it on yesterday actually because I know we were going to go out today. So I tried it on and wow, what a difference. And I don't, I'm not sure because I'm going to show you the side to side comparison right now. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to really tell the difference on camera. I'm hoping you can. But wow, what a difference um, since April 7th that I bought that shirt to today, June 8th. So let me show you that now. Now, I feel really good with where I'm going. It's it's not always easy like I you know and and it's important that you know that when I've had those moments of not meeting my 10,000 steps or those moments of thinking oh I'm not here I'm not there you know gosh you know I have so much to go that it's not easy you know it's not easy to break that thought sometimes that thought process or get out of the the disappointment of not meeting 10,000 steps and I just wanted to share with you that I'm really trying to turn it around and make it different and not be so hard on myself. And it wasn't easy to turn it around, but I did it at the end of the day. I ended up doing it and I feel stronger for it. But it's, you know, the journey, is, it's a mental journey <laughs> as well as a physical journey. It's, it's a mental one too, you know? And, um... I feel like I'm going to fall, but if I get back up quickly, it's, 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 it's a good thing. But also if I can turn my thought process around, 
then then also that's another good thing you know I, I don't know if I'm making sense I really don't but when the thoughts come that I stop in the middle of its track and, and think about it you know really think about what I'm doing to myself if I fall and you know I had a bad day with food bad day with activity whatever that I get back up you know and don't let that bring me down so that's just kind of the week that I had <laughs> anyways my friends that is it I'll let you go before I keep rambling <laughs> but I just wanted to share with you guys you know what what goes on sometimes with me you know it's not always um an uneventful week you know i like uneventful weeks but they're not always like that so i just wanted to share my challenges with you guys so anyways yeah a total of 15 pounds down uh 3.4 for this past week and i weigh 200 well i see wonderland next week i'm hoping <laughs> i'm really gonna shoot for it i could really see it there I'm going to shoot. Hopefully I won't have a plateau kind of a week, but we'll see. We'll see what next week will bring. All right, guys. Have a great week, and I'll see you all next Wednesday for another chit-chat. Okay, bye, guys.